Hello guys, the best tree for a stylized scene? After years of research I can say that this one is one of the best types of trees for games or stylized scene in terms of quality and visual rendering in 3D. In 5 minutes and 3 steps you will be able to create an identical one in a super simple way. Follow the video to the end and you will discover that the process is incredibly simple and fast, ideal for beginners. The leaves make the fluffy effect very well, and with a few parameters it is possible to customize them as you like. Color, size, more color variation, fluffiness, that's right. The secret of this style is that each leaf always rotates in the direction of the camera. Let's give an effect that resembles traditional 2D anime style. Alright, let's begin. First thing, Blender. Just for reference, we'll make a rectangle then. Oh yeah! Now the tree, no problem. It's free with Blender. Sampling Tree Generator. We choose the type of tree and add the leaves. Boom, finished. Now the secret sauce. Change the shape of the leaves with this tool, Voxel Remesh. We use the Displace tool two times. The last one with a Vornoi texture and voila! The size of the polygons will determine the leaf size. I recommend to use the head of our man for reference. We adjust the UV of each polygon and it's done. Second step. Now let's download the master material and the alpha for the leaves. You can download them here and it's all free. If you want to make a small donation to support my work, I will be very grateful. Copy-paste the UE asset in your project folder and just set the alpha image on the master material and the master material on the material instance. And we are ready to go. We import our tree and thanks to the material instance we'll have all set and ready. The node of the master material is quite complicated. I present to you quickly, but I will create an in-depth video to see better and in more detail its creation. The node is divided into three parts. Color, used for its color variation. The mask, used for the shape of the leaves. And the world position offset, used for the movements and sides of the leaves. Third step. We modify the material instance in this way. With underside color and the U-shift, we divide the color of the leaves into two parts. Choose between two variations to create a nice gradient effect. We can choose the shape of the leaves by modifying this image and change their movement for scene with a lot of wind. And finally, we can set the size of the leaves to our liking to make our tree as fluffy as possible. The shape of the leaves is slightly different from the first tree. This is because the quad polygons are a little more big. This makes each tree created different in the shape and size of the leaves. For reference, you can also find the model of my tree that you see in the video. Just import it and apply the material instance. Here it is, finished. Do you like it? Let me know in the comment what do you think. Thanks for subscribing to the channel for more of these videos. Bye!